I like Marcus Rashford. You know, he's, we we know the whole world knows massive, massive talent. Um, I, feel, I for me personally, I feel like he could do a, do a change, do a, do a move somewhere else to get a fresh move. So I, I remember I used to go into games like dreading it, thinking I can't handle the I can't handle the pace. I, I remember I'd be like I'd be warming up on a touchline, coming on, to, thinking, ah, oh, please just let me get through this like 10, 15 minutes coming on. Aye, aye, aye. Man knows ballers and trick. Ballers and watches. You watch the way broad talk kick off the door. No need for a locksmith. No for a locksmith. You might see me with the RM or the Roly. You wanna know how I got you this? Wanna know how I got this. See, I was on the back road. Now I'm on a broadwalk. They couldn't stop this. Nah. Man knows ballers and aye, aye. Ballers and watches. Ballers and watches. Might kick off the door like I hit it. Top bins. No need for a locksmith. No need for a... You might see me with the RM or the Roly. You wanna know how I got this? <laughs> see, I was on the back road. Now I'm on a broadwalk. They couldn't stop this. Nah. Man knows ballers and watches. Woo. Hello, my people. Welcome to another episode of Ballers and Watches. I am Poet. To my left is the man they call Kieran Richardson. Why am I, dog? How are you, bro? Welcome I'm cool, back. man. I'm just here trying to still get a watch, man. It's mad. <laughs> oh, how you been? I've been good, bro. You know, just working, plugging away. You know, just trying to sell some watches. It's going well. It seems to be going very, 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 very well, man. Today, we're going to be speaking about a lot of footballers. One of them that we're going to start off with plays for Manchester United. Also gives out food in the community. Yep. I find Marcus very interesting. Very interesting. Because he came onto the scene and Arsenal fans will know him. Mm -hmm. We all know him more than most. He embarrassed us quite quite early on in his yeah. career. And he's gone on to show he has extreme talent. Mm -hmm. I'm always concerned of his consistency. How about yourself? He's, he's obviously injury prone. Uh, he's injury, sorry. He's not injury prone, yeah. but his injuries have, haven't helped his development at mm -hmm. all. But yeah... I always feel like I'm waiting to see something that I haven't quite seen. How about yourself? Um, I like I like Marcus Rashford. You know, he's, we we know the whole world knows massive, massive talent, and I feel like has he fulfilled his potential of gone on to that next level? I don't think at at this moment in time he hasn't. He's, he's still relative, relative quite young. Mm. Um, I, feel, I me personally, I feel like he could do a, do a change, do a, do a move somewhere else to get a fresh move. You reckon Marcus Rashford should leave Manchester United? I think so. I think that. Um, I, just, I don't know. I, I just feel right now something's not really happening. Don't get me wrong. Football, you can change it around quickly. But I feel like it's been happening now for a little little while. And he doesn't... I don't know. He, when I watch him play, it seems like something's on his mind. Yeah. He, he don't seem like he's in it. Like if you, if you go back three, four years, he was like just on it. He looked sharp. He's doing his thing. But right now when I watch him, I just feel like his mind's somewhere else when I, when I watch him. I don't know how true this is, but maybe you can tell me. Sometimes I don't like when a player that's been, a player that's like 23, 24, Marcus Rashford's age. Mm -hmm. If you've had three or more managers, I don't like that. Yeah, in a short of space course. Of time, it's hard, it's I don't hard. like that. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's always better to get a, a relationship with a manager, a consistent relationship. You understand where I'm coming the, from? The manager knows your position well. He knows how to manage you as a person. So when Rashford, Marcus is going through all these different managers, it, it, they don't know him. They don't know him. So they're taking time to get to know him. They don't know his best position. Yes, they know him from previous playing against him or whatever. Yeah. But they don't know how to manage him. So that could be a factor in why he's not performing to the highest level that he could possibly do. But I don't know with with with, with Rashford. I, I, you know, I, I I'm a big fan of Marcus Rashford. Mm. So I, I I can't really say anything bad about him. But I feel like footballers, you go through spells in, in, in your career where you might not be the best player in the team or you might not be getting 10 out of 10 ratings every week. You might be getting fours, but you have to come through that storm. Um, obviously, being at Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs in the world, country, 100. everything is more magnitude. Yes. So he's under the spotlight much more. And I feel with Ma with Marcus as well, it's like the great deed he did with the, the, with the, with the dinners. It's like he's on, he's on, he's on a pedestal for, the, for England, for us as people, like, Everyone, we love Marcus, right? Mm -hmm. So it's hard for like when we see him not playing well. It's like we, we see him as Mister Perfect, but no, but no one's perfect. No. One, yeah. So I feel like I think some a bit off the field is playing a bit of part with the football as well. That's sad, man. Leave a comment. And let us know what you think about mm. Marcus Rashford and his career as well. Talk about the watch he has. So he's wearing a five seven one one slash one a dash zero zero one one. So it's a white. So I know it's so many references. You got bare stuff to remember. I know, bro. I know, mate. So it's a five seven one, basically a five seven one one. We call this. Mm -hmm. It's oh. a, it's a, it's a nice watch. Stainless steel, white dull, beautiful, great, great size, very light. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of one of Patek's flagship flagship um, pieces. Steal like, it, touch this it. This is nice, bro. It's light. 
it's comfortable. That that watch there comes in white dial, as you see there. It comes in a blue dial. It comes on, it actually comes on levers as well. And they make they make it in rows. They make it different combinations. That is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice piece. So the list price on this watch is right now thirty six thousand pound. Okay, so yeah. that's when you have it in the shop. You go into the shop, you buy you, it. You've you done a few episodes and you think £36 is cheap now, don't you? Yeah, I'm like, ah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm like, £36, yeah. that's cool. The way, got- the way you went, you went, okay, like it was crap. Yeah, it's just that, you know what I'm saying? 36 bags, when I've seen what people are walking outside with, I'm like, yeah, so walk outside, how much is it now? So this watch now currently is trading or selling at between £130,000. <laughs> so it's, it's, doing, it's doing like 4X on it. It's doing a lot of- Yo. Yeah, it's, 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 it's listen- as we know, this brand's one of the powerhouse brand, Patek Philippe. What and type of uh, lifestyle do you reckon? Because you, you spoke about the watch. Mm-hmm. Have you spoken about watches with me before about, mm-hmm. you know, you wear some watches to the beach, yeah. you wear the mm-hmm. dinner, so on and mm-hmm. so forth. Where am I wearing this watch? I think you're wearing this bo- as an everyday everyday watch. It's an everyday watch? Yeah, I, I would say the 571 one's like a comparison to a steel Daytona. They're, 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 very, they're very similar. And I think you could probably wear this as an everyday watch, like just every day, going to work, whatever, going to dinner with your girlfriend, wife, whatever. But no, I, I like this watch. It's a casual watch. I'm, I'm, it's a good selection for Marcus. Ah. It's a very good selection. Without going into too much about the club, mm-hmm. what are the pressures though of being a young player at Manchester United coming through the ranks? Mm. What type of pressures do you take into the first team? It's hard, bro. It's not easy. I remember when coming through the first team, it's very when when you when you play in reserve level or under 18s and when you go into like a, a Premier League Premier League uh, game, the first thing you notice is the match speed. Mm. It's much faster than what you're used to. So I, I remember I used to go into games like dreading it, thinking I can't handle the I can't handle the pace. The pace of the game. Like, I, listen, I was like literally breathing at your ass. I don't know if I, I don't want to swear on it, but, but literally breathing out of your. Yeah, I, I remember I'd be like, I'd be warming up on a touchline, coming on to f- thinking, oh, please just let me get through this like 10, 15 minutes coming on, try and do something. The the, the speed's so, so fast, but over the, the more you play in it, the more you get used to it. But when you, if, you're, if you're a young player, you know, you, when you're young, you're coming through, you get little cameos here and there. It's yeah. hard, to, hard to go with the speed. And only till when you get a good run in a team, like for a season or all, you get used to the tempo and it becomes natural to you. Do you know what? It's funny. I, um, I used to coach Nile Ranger a long time ago. Mm-hmm. We used to work with... with my Nile Ranger. To, my guy, man. He's such a madman. But we yeah. worked with a few footballers. But yeah. Nile was one of them. And he got to Newcastle. I remember saying to him, like, what's the big differences? And he said the same thing you said. Say that. He said, Paul, the pace of the game is mm-hmm. mad. He goes, but one of the... He said that, I think it was either Owen or Shearer said to him, the way in which you get time with the ball Mm -hmm. is when you earn respect. Mm -hmm. Once you earn the respect of your peers, they won't dive in. Definitely. So he said, Paul, I'm going to have to embarrass a player. Fast forward, (laughs) Arsenal, I think Arsenal playing Newcastle at the Emirates. I think Arsenal, Newcastle won 1-0, Andy Mm -hmm. Carroll header, first half. Mm -hmm. Towards the back end, about 11 minutes to go, Mm -hmm. they bring on Nile Ranger. He gets the ball and I kid you not, Koscielny instantly goes to kill him. He just knocks it past him. Mm -hmm. Koscielny gets sent off. The next time he got the ball, player stood off. Yeah. I was like, raw. Yeah, you're, you're, it's a little respecting yeah, here. Yeah, hundred percent. You'll find that because when pl- when players don't have respect for other players, they just think, "Give me that ball, just brush him off, yeah. come off the ball." You know what I mean? Come on. But when say like a a Modric picks up in the center of the park, you f- ballerina guy, you you kind of like, you know what I mean? You're very but, apprehensive. But really and truly, they're the players you should be on the most because they're the ones who can dictate and they do cause you the most damage. So really and truly, the best players in the world, you need to be at them on their on their heels. <sighs> You know what I mean? But some, some players don't want to You know get, what Dino's on if you're at him. It's yeah, but, long. but there we go. Dino, you don't want to get at him. You'll get put for your legs and get mugged off. And you're, you're, on, the, you're on the memes for the next 10 years. So, you know what? You know what's, what's funny? Long, yeah, do, you remember, do you remember in um, the, the competition? Was it Euros? Just went just now. Euros, what, what, what did you just play just now? Euros. Last? Euros. When Ronaldo flicked up or something and um, Radiga, Ronaldo did, did something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you remember that little, oh, yeah, yeah, you remember that little clip? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I was thinking to my dad, like, things like that where... His face is going to be on the memes forever. Forever, bro. But he's had a great season, so. I hear you. You have had a good season, but man don't want to be on a meme like Milner with Messi and Pep going. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to be in them, them type of memes, but it's funny. I do say Milner, Man City, Raheem Sterling, the mm. yard man, mm. my brother. <laughs> we're cousins. Maybe not in this life, but because we're Jamaicans, somehow mm. we're cousins. Uh, talk to me about the watch he's wearing. So he's wearing the Rolex... Um, well, we call it a Batman because of the yeah. colours, the blue and the black, the bezel. 
You see the, see the, see the colors? Come there? on, <laughs> Raheem. Yeah, it's a Rolex GMT Master 2, yeah. So the reference on that is 126710BLNR. The list price on that watch, I think it's eight grand. Eight thousand four. Eight grand. Eight thousand four hundred. Now we're on my street. Yeah, I like so that. That watch is eight thousand four hundred pounds if you go into Rolex. Um, they recently rebought. It got discontinued. Everyone thought it got discontinued in two thousand eighteen. I think it was. Okay. They changed the bracelet to a um, Jubilee bracelet, but they rebought it back out in two thousand twenty-one. Now, so all the people who thought their watch was discontinued and went up. Yeah. Even though it did, did get discontinued, they re it back out with a new movement and a few new adjustments. So... If I walk out of the shop, how much is that worth? That watch, that watch is about worth about 14,000, 15,000 pounds. Serious? Yeah. Raheem is humble. So I love Jamaicans, you know. Humble. Yeah, but he's, Yard, got, he's, got, he's got other watches as Let's well, Let's not bro. talk about that. Let's talk Chris and stay here. Who All else right, could cool. you see a watch like this? Um, I've, I've, I think John John Cena was wearing. Is John Cena? John Cena, the, the wrestler. I know. We, I know we're going yeah. off topic. I know no, we're going I, off topic. There's no rules, aspects. But I think he, I think he's wearing a Jubilee bracelet. He had a Jubilee bracelet one. But a, a lot of a lot of footballers have the Batman's. A lot of um, the footballers tend to buy the the steel watches and Rolex, the Daytonas, the GMT Masters. Sea dwellers or things like that. They're, they're, ni- they're nice everyday watches. They're oh, casual. I was going to say that too. You know what I mean? Another everyday watch. Yeah, it's there. definitely an everyday watch. You can wear it. We've I mean, got to remember these Rolexes. They're built to do anything with them. Like they're, they're built. To, they're so strong. Yeah. You know, you can ba- you can bang it on the side. Look, I got a Rolex on now. Platinum Daytona. You can bang it on the side. Things like that. They're, they're so strong. They're they're they're, 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 un- they're unbreakable. They're called bulletproof, bro. These Rolexes. The Rolexes. Serious? Yeah, bro. They're like mm. bulletproof. Not like the watches that shatter in a golf bag. There you go. Going back to that episode. Come on, man. Look, let's talk a little bit about Raheem Sterling. Um, I think I've been harsh on him. In fact, I know I have. This have guy you? is, yes. Oh, it's because me. He's I'm like, one of them guys that wants the best for him. Yeah, I know how good I, I love him, he bro. is. He, well, I don't know how good he is, but yeah. I remember watching him against Arsenal mm. for Liverpool, 17 years old, thinking to myself, this is some of the most unreal young talent I've yeah. ever seen in my life. Mm. Is he underrated? No, he's not underrated. No way. Everyone rates him. Who do, who are, who's underrating him? Sometimes, you know, when like I what? think... Like you think Pep's underrating him? No, I don't think Pep underrates him at all. I think Pep, is a, he knows what he's doing. But yeah. I think sometimes, especially at national level... Yeah, but he I, proved it in the last tournament. He's one of our best, he was our best player. By a country mile. There but even go. without having to prove that, mm-hmm. I went into that tournament and I was saying to people, look, if England won half a chance, they've yeah. got to use Raheem Sterling. This yeah. guy is an incredible talent who yeah. offers something so unique on that starting eleven, especially yeah. with England being so defensive. Yeah. He offered something so unique to me. Um, I don't think he's always had that sort of... I think with Raheem, I think he's always... He's a great player. He's unbelievable. I think mm. sometimes with Raheem, when he has sometimes too much to think about in front of goal, he can like f- not not score. He, he always scores the goals that he shouldn't have scored. Do you know, yeah, what, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I love him. He's one of my favourite players. But sometimes when I feel like when he's got too much time to think, he can not do the correct move. But me personally, I think he's definitely one of the best players in England. Sure. I definitely want to see Raheem Sterling lift the Champions League. I think that's yeah, to me, yeah. that will take him no, but I, CV-wise. I, I, don't, I, don't I don't want to see it because I don't, I don't want to see City lifting it. Nah. Nah. I want to see a Jamaican lift the Champions League. I've seen <laughs> Sean Paul at the Champions League final. Let me see another one. Raheem <laughs> Sterling, you should be over there, man. We're going to be rating these watches at the end of the show as well. So make sure you stay in tune as we move on to the final footballer. This man here, phew, he's won everything. Too many times. He's even won the Champions League like four times in a row. Donny said, you know what? I'm going to go over to Paris and try and flex over there with Messi. His name's Sergio Ramos. He also has a YouTube channel. Does he? He makes music. Nice. This is a fact. Didn't know that. This is what I'm saying. People don't know. But Sergio Ramos sings. Listen, I think, as you, as you said, you gave him the big introduction. Come on. He's achieved everything. And... This watch definitely goes to that type of introduction. This this watch is unbelievable. Before you talk about the type of watch it is, because mm-hmm. I just want to look at the price. Yeah. So when we go to the shop and we say we want this watch, mm-hmm. uh, how much are we paying for this watch, please? You're gonna pay. Well, the, the, the reference of this watch is a 57, 50, 5740 uh, slash one G zero zero one. So this is the perpetual calendar. So perpetual calendar tells you, gives you the date, the day, the month in the watch. So if you look at the dial there. So you can see, you can see Monday. It'll tell you the, the day. Monday. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. It'll tell you the date or the twenty first or whatever. And it'll give you the month also, January. <laughs> My also telling you your bank yeah, balance. So it, it, it tells you your bank balance. Yeah, so look at the watch. This watch is iconic with obviously with Nautilus. This was this this was the first time Nautilus has ever had a perpetual calendar. This is a bit heavy. Yeah, it's unbelievable watch. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's obviously white gold. 
The doll was a be- blue, beautiful blue doll. So and and, and also you got a nice nice clasp, double clasp bib. Try it on. Can I try this one on? Yeah, you can try that one. Come on, on I deserve this, man. Might be a bit too big for you. D- don't, don't embarrass me on TV. But you can take you can take links out. Was so imagine your size? I'm used to taking links out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This it's, it's classy. Oh, this is listen. I'll wear it like this. No one can tell me nothing. This is a rude boy watch. So the the, the, the Nautilus was designed by a guy called Gerald Genta. Okay, a famous designer. He, I don't want to break none. So he did. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, my. He designed this watch, the the, the Nautilus many years ago. I think it was nine seven. This what Nautilus came out in nineteen seventy. I want to say six or three. Anyway, don't don't quote me. Uh, but he also the guy who designed this watch also designed the Royal Oak AP. So he, he's he's he designed the Royal Oak, the design of it. It's crazy, right? This guy's a revolutionary mind. He's, he's dead now, obviously, but he designed the Royal Oak, uh, Royal Oak and he also designed the Nautilus. Probably the two, two most iconic designs in watchmaking forever. And one guy did that. This is... It's unbelievable, right? But obviously, so, I don't want to speak about how much it costs right, cool. now when you walk sorry, out. Sorry, I'm going a bit too much detail. Sorry. You went, no, it's not too much detail. It's crazy. We spoke about it being a one one two. Mm-hmm. So now I've walked out of the shop. Yes. How much is this watch? So currently this watch is going from 300 grand to 350 grand. So the same price as Fran Marita. <laughs> a lot of money. If, listen, if you can find one of these watches under 300,000 pounds, snap it up. It's a, this it, is crazy. I know, I know. We're, we're looking twice, the, three times the money. But the thing is though, do you know what? It is funny though, because... Look at the price of that watch. You mm-hmm. look at it, is, and mm-hmm. it's Sergio Ramos, thirty-seven years old, yes. a lot older, achieved yes. so much. It's almost like, depending on your age, it kind of depends on the approach and the watch that you get. Mm-hmm. Some of the watches that we had earlier on with uh, Marcus Rashford, mm-hmm. I'm sure he has a, a big watch mm-hmm. collection, but an everyday watch. But mm-hmm. then, is this the everyday watch for someone like no. yeah, you, Sergio Ramos? Yeah, you're right because you can wear this as an wow. everyday watch. It's beautiful, as you said. It, it does look like steel, but it's not. It's actually white gold. Um, but as you said, it's a petrol calendar. It tells you a lot more detail. It tells tells you much more than the 571 does this doesn't it tells you the time and date with well, this one it can tell you the day date month as well it's unbelievable i have to be honest though this is seems like a very legendary watch mm-hmm. sergio ramos is uh, he's a legendary defender me and yeah. you spoke about him off mm-hmm. camera mm-hmm. i was just saying obviously there are a couple of things that make the situation a lot bigger to me mm-hmm. in terms of uh, i've watched his football ability cannot be questioned where does he rank for you as a top centre back, ever, um, he doesn't come to my mind if I think the best centre backs ever. Same here. He doesn't come to my mind, but I think maybe because he's not my um, in my country. I remember I'm, I've always been Premier League based. Don't get me Fair wrong; enough. I still watch Spanish league, and Fair now enough. he's now he's in um, France. But maybe maybe a Spanish player might say Sergio Ramos. Yeah. But for me, when I when I think best centre backs in the world of all time, it's Tony Adams, <laughs> Yap Stam, Rio. That was unreal. You know what I'm saying? People Yap like Stam. that. JT is a great centre back and have a great has had a great career. But they're the, they're the guys who I think in my head. But that's because I'm around that a bit. That's my yeah, era that's type of thing. But he's still been a been a great defender. We were saying about even Thiago Silva's come to Chelsea now. Ridiculous. He's been for me. He's probably been one of the best centre backs this season, other than Virgil. Sergio Ramos definitely has a wonderful, wonderful trophy cabinet. This guy has yeah. won absolutely everything mm-hmm. in the game, whether you give him Champions League, World Cups, uh, World Cups Euros. He's captain as well, so he has a huge responsibility. Mm. What type of mentality do you think you need to have to be the person to achieve all of these things on a consistent Mate, basis? Bro, you've got to take your hat off to him. He's, defi- proper. he's no, definitely a proper guy. You take your hat off. Come on, brother. Uh, man. He's definitely a proper guy, a winner. Obviously, strong-minded Obviously, I don't know him on a personal level, but seeing him on the pitch and the way he plays, he looks like no bullshit type of guy. But you should hear his music. It's so soothing. I, I haven't heard his music, but Come on. Um, as a player, and as you said, the things he's done, you have to be, to, to maintain it for such a long time, you've got to be so focused and all, all, all credit to his character. And, you know, he's had a great career. Real Madrid boy one lucky team <laughs> one lucky team when you picked up that young man that was embarrassed by Thierry Henry I always got a friend look a bit and Ronaldinho and Ronaldinho oh, Ronaldinho one was worse everyone got up and started <laughs> applauding that was absolutely <laughs> terrible yeah. um, but you know what three good watches three amazing players mm-hmm. we ended with an absolute legend uh, yeah. in Sergio Ramos 
It's now to do the ratings. Yeah. We're going to rate these watches. And remember, the way we rate it is down to comfortability, uh, visibility, what does it look like? And most importantly, when I step out that shop, how much does this watch cost? How yeah. much money am I making? What's my return? So the first watch we're going to rate is the 571 Marcus Rashford. Come on, Marcus Rashford's watch. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 3.2. I hear you. Yeah. I do hear you. It's nice, but it's, it's just... nice. Listen, it's comfortable. It's nice. It's elegant. I, I do like it, but I feel like there's much better Nautiluses out there to wear. It's like rice without gravy. Yeah. It's a bit plain. Maybe, maybe, maybe if, if you saw the Blue Dial, you might have a bit of difference with the Blue Dial. It's mixing it up. The Blue Dial's nice. But for me, I'm giving it that, that mark. I'm not really... I rate it, but it could be better. A bit like Mar Marcus Rashford's career right now. Couple of changes. Blue face, who knows? We might rate it a bit more. This is not for you to say. I know, it's your <laughs> brethren's, but come on. Raheem Sterling. Okay, so the Batman, the Rolex GMT Master 2. I'm going to give that 2.9. Serious? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, you know what it is with me? I don't like... I like rare. I like rare things. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Even though it's a great everyday watch and wearable, I'm. Um, yeah, it ticks boxes. But for me, I like something which is not everyone has. Mm. I feel like with the, with the Batman, everyone, everyone has that watch. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people have that. And I don't. I don't like walking into a room. Where, imagine a dressing room now where everyone's wearing a Rolex Batman. I don't really like it. Okay, and you know the backstories of watches as well. Yeah, so I you know, know the backstory. But the watch is very comfortable. It's like um, it's it's good. It's good. It's a good looking. To, good looking. But that's, that's my rating. 2.9. All right. This last one, though, I can't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing's crazy. The Sergio Ramos. What's the name of this watch and what are we rating this the one? 5740G. Oh, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to I'm gonna rate this, even though so far the highest one's been um, Virgil's, right? The black ceramic. What episode is this? The skeleton going back a while back. Anyway, I'm g I gave that a 4.9 on the show. But this, this one, I'm going to give this a 4.7. Serious? Yeah, it's it's a beautiful watch. The the bracelet, I love the bracelet. You know, the finishing of it, it's like a satin finish. I just love it. You kind of mess yourself up though, because Why? by giving that one a four point nine, this watch is close competition. No, it's very close competition. But th that for me, so far, that black ceramic's been an unbelievable watch. But this is a great watch. If you could ever get your hands on one, owning one, you'd be you'd be you'd be laughing. You hear that, people? You own that, you're laughing. So at least I know I won't be laughing for a while. You know my thing. People, this has been Ballers and Watches. I've been Poet. This has been the wonderful Kieran Richardson. My G, we're at the end of the show. You know, I always ask, give them the plug. Yeah, so Brawl Talks, go on our page, go on YouTube, click and subscribe, support us. Um, you know, we talk about football and watches. And if you're here and you've watched the whole show and you haven't subscribed, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Just yeah. subscribe. It's, it's free. It's free. Please, just subscribe. Support us, man. We're trying to pull it out there. Oh, we're, we're having fun as well on the show we're having fun on it Are you sure yeah we're having good fun you know you know on this show i'm a bit more reserved, reserved. but I'm, I'm on my show i'm more like you bro serious yeah I'm just, come over and watch it come and watch yeah i'm gonna watch man obviously he's <laughs> trying to think about real here make sure we head over and watch that like share and subscribe god bless you all and i'll see you again